What is up YouTube? This is the Pikachu here bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is a rotational style and I really like these types of battles, but the thing is it's really hard to get close good battles. And yeah, this one's more one-sided, but I hope you guys enjoy anyways. I really wanted to post this because it was pretty interesting and you'll see uh, Rhyperior do some work. So I'm going to lead off with my Scizor, my Road to Mosh form, and my Arcanine. And the reason why I lead off with these three specific Pokemon is because they complement each other's weaknesses really, really well. He goes for the burn. That's no problem at all because this Scizor uh, is more defensively orientated and carries support moves like Light Screen. And you'll see later I carry the Agility as well. And the main goal is to Baton Pass into Rhyperior and to attempt a Rhyperior Sweep. But the problem is he has that Mew and he has that Milotic which will wall my team. So before I can sweep, I have to take down those two specific Pokemon. And that's why I do bring in my Arcanine here to deal maximum damage with a Life Orb Overheat as he just phases me out into another Pokemon with Dragon Tail. Now unfortunately he's going to bring in my Rhyperior here and this really sucks because I can choose to switch out or I can rotate. And if I switch out then I can Baton Pass into Rhyperior. If I can't if I, and I do decide to rotate, I'd have to spend another two turns to switch Rhyperior back into the main rotation and then switch him out before I can Baton Pass, but I have another option. I can actually predict a Dragon Tail from the Mew and try to make him phase me out, and then I can Baton Pass into Rhyperior. I don't know if you guys understood that at all, but yeah kind of complex stuff but anyways I'm gonna go for the mega horn predicting him to go into Mew to go for the dragon tail unfortunately that doesn't work now he's gonna go into his Mew to go for the will-o-wisp as I go for the hydro pump and hydro pump misses I could have potentially killed him at that point but because uh, I missed that's gonna serve me uh, negatively later on because another hydro pump actually wouldn't be able to kill due to those leftovers recovery but thankfully he's actually going to Dragon Tail here and I predicted that went into my Rhyperior to to make him uh, bring in my Celebi and bring out my Rhyperior so I can finally Baton Pass into my Rhyperior and I think this is a good time to do it because he can't really touch me and yeah if he does leave in his Mew the worst thing he can do is go for the Will-O-Wisp but I can actually bring in my Nido King and Baton pass that agility into Nido King instead, but because he brought in his Thunderous, I can safely bring in my Rhyperior without getting burned. And yeah, even if he went for the Hidden Power Ice, that wouldn't deal that much damage because Solid Rock and I carry max HP, max speed. It's more of a custom Rhyperior set that works pretty well. So I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump at this point. Because of this Leftovers Recovery, he's actually going to live that, and that kind of sucks. I wish... Um, that Stone Edge hit from the Rhyperior earlier because then I would have take down this Mew, but of course, hacks happens, it's part of the game. But now I can just take him out with a Stone Edge, so that's okay as well. So now that his Mew is gone, I have one more threat to try to take down. That's his Melodic. And um, I have a couple of options to do. I have my Rotom Wash form that carries the Stab Thunderbolt that can deal a good amount of damage to this Melodic. And I have this Celebi, and this Celebi isn't an offensive one, it's a defensive one with, uh, what is it, the Paris Song. And Paris Song and Rotation Battles work really, really nicely because not only can it uh, Paris Song the main Pokemon on the opponent's side, but if he decides to rotate, I can Paris Song trap those as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to Paris Song, predicting him to rotate out, but he actually stays in. And the reason why I don't go for an attacking move is because I don't want to risk him predicting that and go for the Mirror Coat. And that would just take down my Celebi. That would be bad news. So right here, I'm actually going to go for the U-Turn because I'm predicting him to either switch out or rotate. And if he does rotate, that means his Melodic is dead once he uses it one more time because now he can't switch out. Since switching out takes two turns, you have to switch into the main area and then switch out. So yeah, he's going to pull off a Dark Pulse predicting my Celebi to stay in. That's okay. And I'm just going to U-turn, bring in my Nido King. So right here, I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump because it's going to deal su or it's not going to deal super effective damage, but it's going to deal good damage to Ambipom, good damage to Thunderous. And if he brings in his Melodic, it's just going to die. And he's just going to Mirror Coat before he gets finished off by a... Uh, Parasong, so that is really nice. Both of his walls are down, and Rhyperior is going to do some work. 
So yeah, his team is actually not rotation oriented. It's single standard battle oriented because as you'll see later, this Ambipom is actually choice banded and having choice Pokemon really just a pro tip is don't use choice Pokemon in rotational battles. Because as you can see, he's going to leave his Ambipom here as death fodder. But uh, that's actually going to be set up fodder for me. And that's really nice. I'm going to get that free Swords Dance up. That gives me 634 attack. And I can pretty much 1 8 KO the rest of his team. So Rhyperior, as long as he doesn't miss, is just going to take down the rest of his Pokemon. And yeah, hopefully nothing bad happens. So yeah... Um, I'm just going to talk about more of my, uh, the team and its game plan. Well, Scizor and Rhyperior has really good type typing wise. They like complement each other really nicely. And yeah, no one really suspe suspects a defensive Scizor. And this Scizor actually carries max HP and a good amount of special defense. And it carries enough bulk so it can take actually a Scarf Modest Heatran Fire Blast because I carry Akaberry, and then I can Agility and successfully Baton Pass. So, yeah, Scizor as a Baton Passer is really nice. No one uses it. It's pretty much underrated. But, yeah, as you can see, this Rhyperior is actually max HP, max speed, and with the extra bulk, I can actually set up a Swords Dance without dying, and I can take hits. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'm going to take down this Azelf with a Megahorn, and that will be good game. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a comment, give me the thumbs up, and it doesn't hurt if you favorite, because I love it when you favorite my videos, and yeah. So to all the guys, like 450 of you guys who love Mudkips, I love them too. So this is the Pikawoo, thank you for watching my video, peace out guys. What is up YouTube? This is the Pikawoo here bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is a rotational style and I really like these types of battles. But the thing is it's really hard to get close good battles. And yeah this one...